Gender literacy is all about recognizing and expressing sexual identity. And yeah, it's political. Literacy is about a lot more than reading and writing. My definition? Literacy is the ability to interpret the symbolic medium of a specific cultural context such that interactions within that context are facilitated. So what does it mean to be gender literate? Well, the exciting thing about languages is that they're always evolving. When I was a kid in the 80s, it seemed simple. Most people thought sex and gender were the same thing. You signaled your biological sex through clothes, makeup, body language, gendered interests, and these were meant to indicate desire for the opposite sex. Those who didn't conform met with disapproval or violence from the mainstream, and a host of derogatory terms were routinely placed, and still sometimes are, upon nonconformists. When I got to university, I found out that things were changing, and had been for a while. Biological sex was being redefined as male, female, or intersex, which can be a variety of chromosomal, hormonal, or anatomical differences. Whereas gender means a range of social expressions or psychological traits related to sex, but not indicative of biological sex or sexual orientation. A new vocabulary is developing to challenge heteronormative assumptions and cisgender privilege and it is coming from the LGBTQ plus community itself. By the way, cis refers to the idea of having one's gender aligned with one's sex, as opposed to trans, which implies gender crossing. A gender literate person these days has to recognize the right of others to self-identify and the need to use public space accordingly. New rules governing language have to be learned. For example, transgender is a more general term preferred by many over transsexual, and pronouns should refer to a person's expressed gender. If you're a member of the LGBTQ community, you should avoid the term two-spirited unless you also identify as indigenous. These changes to language didn't come without a struggle. The continuing fight for marriage equality demonstrates how much power is invested in the terms husband and wife, Shifting definitions are frightening for some who benefit from exclusive categories. Who has the right to create these definitions? Does it reside in the individual or in communities? The struggle to define sexual identity or impose it on others is a reflection and symptom of major power imbalances worldwide. What is a woman? What is a man? We are all invested in the answers. Historically marginalized groups are taking charge of gender literacy, and it's the mainstream conformist who risks being left behind in the dust of ignorance. Created using Powtoon.